Hey guys, it's Holly and can you see me? <laughs> Today I'm going to be opening up the Disney Princess Collection set of seven dolls only available at Target as it says right here only at Target. <laughs> now this is a $79.99 set. It's really impressive. I think it would be really cool to give as like a birthday or holiday gift, but I got it for a great steal. I used my Cartwheel app for Target um, on my phone and I was able to get it for 50% off. So I got all these dolls for only $40, which I thought was a great deal. I am going to show them all to you. Included in this set is Anna, Elsa, Rapunzel, who's next? Ariel, <laughs> Belle, Merida, and Cinderella. So I'm going to show you the back of the box. Ooh, this box is huge. It even has a handle on the top. So on the back, you've got Anna and Elsa, I don't even remember, Rapunzel, Ariel, Belle, Merida, and Cinderella, and these have little perforated edges so that you can punch these out and I guess um, play with them if you want. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and open this up so we can take a closer look at the dolls. Okay, so I've taken all the dolls out of the box and they were in there like really good. <laughs> I'm gonna start with Cinderella and I'm gonna work my way this way. So, first thing I notice about all of the dolls is they all have different shaped faces. So it's not like you're getting just like the traditional same shaped face, but like different makeup or different, you know, hair and dress and all that stuff. Everyone has like a different shaped face to fit their character, which I think is really great because to make them all look like the same doll would have been kind of disappointing. Another thing, when I first took them out of the box, I, I wasn't too sure I was gonna be like completely thrilled with the dolls and their outfits and everything else, but as I was taking them each out and kind of looking at them a little bit closer, I am really happy with the dolls. So that helps. <laughs> now I will say, like if you buy these dolls individually, you can usually find them with like tons of glitz and glitter and all this like gorgeous stuff all over them. But for the value of the set, um, it is really good quality for what you're getting and for what you pay. So here is Cinderella. The bottom of her dress is just a silky blue and then she has the white little puffy sleeves and this little waist, little white around her waist. Now they don't bend, she doesn't bend at the knees. I don't think any of them probably will. I think body wise they're all basically the same. She has her hair up in her little bun that she wears to the ball. It does have an elastic in it, but oh my gosh, it's like really stiff, so I don't think I would probably take it out. It does Velcro up the back, so you can change her outfit pretty easily. And the bodice does have glitter in the little swirls and little star sparklies. And then she has her really pretty crown, which is attached with these little plastic thingamajiggies. I don't know what they're called but I'm gonna leave those on. I'm not even gonna mess with their hair and their crowns or anything like that because I do think I'll probably gift these to my nieces and to my girls. So, her, you can see I'll show her face. She has the most Barbie-ish looking face, but still um, doesn't like look like a Barbie. And she just has really pretty plain makeup. I'll show her shoes. They are clear, but they're not like a crystal type. They're just like a nice clear pump. So they are supposed to be like her glass slippers. They are just a nice little heel. So, uh, oh my gosh, does she not bend at the waist? <gasps> oh, that's weird. <laughs> her leg, oh, durr, I have a rubber band on her feet still. Maybe that's why it's not moving. <laughs> that would help, right? Aha, here we go. It helps if you take the rubber band off. Okay, so she does bend at the waist to sit, but again, her knees do not bend. So, no joints in the knees or in the arms. So that's all you get is just a little bit of bend at the waist and then, you know, you can move her head. 
So she's really pretty. I'm happy with her. Now I'm moving on to Merida, which I love, I love this doll. Um, now when they were in the box, you really couldn't see the bottom of the dress very well and you couldn't see their shoes very well. So when I opened it up, it was kind of like a little surprise because I was like, oh, that's actually really pretty. Because I thought some of the dresses and shoes just were going to be plain, but they're actually very nice. So I really like her gown because it's got the kind of like straight, really modest top on it. Her little belt is kind of like this loose um, piece that will come off. So it just kind of rests on her hips. And she has this really pretty ribbon of gold around the bottom with shimmer to it with glitter in it. She's got really pretty hair. It is kind of thin in the back, but that's okay. It's not like she's a really expensive doll, but um, she has some nice ringlets, some nice curls. I really love her face. I think it's so sweet. She's got a nice shape to her face, which um, very much resembles the character in the movie. She's got some really cute freckles, a pretty glittery crown or tiara. I guess hers is probably more of a tiara. I don't know, but I love her eyes. I think her eyes are so kind and gentle looking, really pretty. And then she has really cool shoes too. I love it when the dolls have cool shoes instead of just like the plain pumps. These are almost like a gladiator type. Oh, I guess I could move her belt out of the way. So they're like a flat, but then they go up her legs and then they split in the back so that you can take them off really easily. And she's going to be the same way and she's going to bend at the waist, but her legs don't bend. So she's really pretty. I really like her. I really like her gown. Okay, now moving on to Belle. Belle has her silky yellow dress and in glitter on the bodice. Um, it's pink, so really pretty. And then it has this sheer kind of like shawl across the shoulders. She's got a really pretty pink. Does it have glitter in it? It's like glitter inside her crown. Her hair is kind of like um, being held in with a rubber band, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of weird. But anyway, she has pretty hair. It's It feels kind of weird. Like they put something in their hair that makes it really kind of weird feeling. So there's a look at her face. So you can tell, like I said before, their faces have kind of a different shape. I'll show you side by side of her and Cinderella so you can see their faces look different and Merida's like I said is really nice and round shaped I think it just suits their faces suit their personalities to their character which is really nice so I really like her she's really pretty and I'll show you her shoes I'm not going to show you how they all bend at the waist because that would just kind of be silly so her shoes are kind of translucent pink they have a rose on the back of the shoe and also on the top of the shoe which is really nice so yeah I really like her all of these are just so pretty okay Ariel is up next can you guys guess what I don't like about Ariel <laughs> I really like Ariel I do but I have an issue with her dress it's pink it's Ariel she should be green <laughs> But I think the reason that they did Ariel in pink in this set is because Elsa is green. And I don't think they wanted Ariel taking the spotlight from Elsa. But I do have a little bit of issue with the fact that her dress is not green because she's the little mermaid. It should be green like it is on the box and in the movie. The box shows her in a green dress. So why she's in pink, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I can end rant there. So silky on the bottom kind of the tool in the center. She does have a white glitter. That is the other thing. Like these two dresses are basically the same. Just, you know, this one has the sheer and it's pink. So I would have liked it if they would have done a different dress for Ariel. I kind of feel bad for her that she just got tossed into a pink, plain pink dress. <laughs> it is pretty, don't get me wrong. Anyway, her hair is the same as Belle's, only red. So it's really nice. And then it's got, um, she has the purple crown. And then for shoes, she has pink shoes. She has human legs and pink shoes. These are um, like a shimmery pink though, instead of clear with a bow on top. Okay, they could have done like 
green with a little seashell or something. I mean, you know, use a little bit more imagination for Ariel. I just kind of feel bad for her. Her face is really pretty though. I really like her face. So there's Ariel. She's probably like my least favorite in this collection just because of the fact that they didn't do anything fancier with her dress, but I still really love Ariel. Okay, now we are moving on to Rapunzel. I really love her long hair. It's so pretty and silky. Her hair is nice and silky. The, the other ones with the curls, I think they put something in it that just kind of makes it feel almost sticky, like a gel, I guess. So she has a pretty, let's move her hair so you guys can see her dress. Pretty purpley, like a nice bright purple pink on the top with the glitter and then her sleeves are um, a little different because they're the sheer purple but then they have the pink stripes so I think that's really cute. She has a really cool crown. I like her crown. And her face makeup she has a little bit of um, glitter to her eyeshadow that the other dolls, she's the only one with that. She's the only one with the glitter to her eyeshadow. So I think she is really pretty. And then her shoes have, are those butterflies or flowers? They're flowers. They have little flowers on the back as well as on the top. And they're kind of like a sheer purple. So I really like her. I love her long hair. I think she'll be fun to like play with braids and things like that with her hair. Really fun um, if you like, you know, braiding and doing things, different things with hair. Okay, now we're moving on to Elsa. I think Elsa's dress and the shape would have looked really cool on Ariel because it almost has that like thin, <laughs> the mermaid, oh, there you go, the mermaid style gown <laughs> on Elsa. But, you know, Anna and Elsa are probably these days the most popular princesses, so you got to give them all the credit for that. So hers is the mermaid style cut gown. She's got really pretty sheer sleeves, so I really like that. And then this is kind of like a purpley color. The glitter and the sleeves are have like the tiniest little purple hint to them, which is really nice. She has a really pretty face. She does look like Elsa from the movie. I always think it's funny how they make these dolls that are supposed to look like Anna and Elsa or any other princesses, but they actually don't. They just, like I said, kind of have like a Barbie face which is okay, but I think they should look like the characters. She has really pretty braid. She has her little um, curl that hangs in her face. Pretty tiara. And I just really like, I like their faces a lot because it looks like them. And then her shoes, they have snowflakes on them. So they're kind of this clear blue with just a snowflake on the top. So that's really cute. I really like these. Okay. Anna, the last one. So Anna has her dress just like in the movie. It has the dark blue on the bottom. I like how it's scalloped along the edge. The rest of them are straight. So she's got a really pretty like scallop design. And then the top portion of her dress, that almost looked velvety for a second. I had to look at it. But it's like a dark purple with like the pink glitter. And then the sleeves are this kind of aqua color. Is that the same color as Elsa's dress? Yeah, it's like the same color as Elsa's dress, only not as spark, not as shimmery. She has her hair in two braids, kind of split down the back. I like her face. She's got um, her little freckles, which are so cute. And then she has her pink tiara. I really like that. Her shoes are so cool. I kind of like, I took her out of the box and I was like, Oh my gosh, I love those shoes. They're her boots like she wears in the movie. So instead of putting her in like basic pumps like they did with, um, you know, like you would think that they would do like the other dolls, they put her in these really cool boots and they have a heel and they have a split up the back and they just have this really cool design and like a nice pointed kind of turned up toe. So really, really awesome set. I'm very happy with all of these. Um, just really great dolls, really good quality. Not as good as if you were to buy them individually and pay more, obviously, because some of those dolls can be like really, really intricate and awesome. But 
for the value, I think it's really great. Even though I'm not completely satisfied with Ariel. <laughs> I really love them all. So tell me which one is your favorite. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to go with Merida, I think. Even though Merida isn't necessarily my favorite princess, I just really like her gown and I really like her face. It's so sweet. So tell me which one is your favorite down in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.